Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those who are new, welcome. And for those who are reoccurring, what's popping? Let's get into this look I did on live yesterday, I think. I was trying to really upload this footage because I got a lot of inboxes saying they wanted to see the tutorial. So I'm starting off with a black eyeliner pencil and I'm pretty much just creating a shape right above my crease. Now you can use any Atlanta pencil, it's really up to you. It doesn't matter. I think I got that one from a beauty supply store. I'm gonna go in with a small smudge brush and start smudging out that liner. I found that doing this method helps me create my shape a little bit better. So that's why I started doing it like this. I'm gonna jump right back in with that black liner and darken up that crease. So pretty much what this eyeliner do is create a barrier of how far I want my crease to go. So I don't want to go past this line. So I'm going to go in with my black eyeshadow from my eyeshadow palette painted for the back row. You can get that on my website. Um, I'm going to go in with a blend brush and start to blend out that black shadow against the eyeliner. And you can kind of see how dark this black in this palette is. Like, do not come from my palette. <laughs> now I'm going to take a small blend brush and just start blending out those harsh lines that's above that crease. You know I got to use my trick with the micellar water. I did place micellar water on this concealer brush and that's usually how I clean off the lid. As you can see, it cleans it off very smoothly. It does not leave your lid cre uh, greasy like Vaseline will. Vaseline cleans it off good too, but if you already have oily eyelids, it's not a good thing. I'm going to go in with some um, P. Louise um, Rewhite eyeshadow base, and I'm going to start creating my crease. You always want to take a dry brush or a clean brush to blend out that eyeshadow base because you don't want it to be wet. When you use a matte shadows, you want to make sure that that is nice and dry down before applying it because it starts looking cakey. After making sure that the eyeshadow base is nice and dry, I went in with a white, which is out of my eyeshadow palette as well, and I start packing on that white. Whenever you are using a brighter color, you want to make sure you pack that color on and not sweep or swipe because it would then start looking blotchy. You don't want that. So just take the brush and pack on that color so it can be nice and smooth. I'm focusing on the inner corner of my eye because the back of that wing will be black. So I call myself starting off with the Inglot Black Liner. If anybody ever used it, you already know that it dries extremely fast. If you have not used this liner before, it's super good, but it does dry fast. So it will be hard to create an actual design with this liner for me. So I went in with my Milani's Liquid Liner, which is one of my favorite liquid liners. It has a precision brush on it, which makes it easy for you to create whatever look you want. And so I went in with that and started filling in the back of that wing. Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Liner, which is their white liner. I'm going to go in with that and start creating this white shape right above that crease, y'all. And now I'm going in with Inglot to darken up the liner. Y'all see the difference, like how Inglot liner is versus the Milani liner? It does drive fast, but it is extremely um, good with longevity. It lasts a while. It does not smudge, and it's black. Like, it's super black. 
going in with some razzle dazzle i'm gonna place some rast in the back of that way In case you're wondering what's on my face, I did use Calamine Lotion as a primer this time. So I applied that all over my face except my forehead. I don't know why I left that out, but except my forehead. And then I went in with my NARS Luminous Foundation and started applying it to my face. The shades that I'm using is two different shades. One is um, medium to dark two, and then one is dark two. This concealer is the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Sand. I'm gonna start applying this to my T-zone area. Now I'm going to go in with my lashes and the lashes I'm using is in the style Conceited. They are actually available on my website. Um, I will be restocking soon so you can pre-order those if you like. Going in with my foundation brush, this brush is from my Upscale Face Brush Set, you already know, and I'm going to start blending this foundation out over my face. Now it's time to blend out my concealer, so I'm going to use my Real Technique brush to start blending out the concealer. Taking the Juvia's Place Shade Stick to start cream contouring my face, I'm going to place this in all the areas I use to contour and start to blend that out.
using air spawn translucent setting pattern to pretty much set underneath my eyes when it comes down to setting your concealer you want to make sure you apply a small thin layer first and then go in to bake with a thicker layer so you don't want to just automatically apply a a thick layer of setting powder because you will be open up to being very blotchy and patchy underneath your eyes so you want to go in first with a thin layer and then go back over it to bake If you're like me and you smell a lot, you will crease on the side of your mouth. To avoid creasing with your makeup, you just want to make sure you set those creases with a powder. So you can set it with a translucent setting powder. Whatever setting powder that you use, you can set it with that. But just make sure you are setting your creases. So I'm going to go in with my Pimpy Contour Palette, the Mixed Race Palette. And I'm going to start contouring my face with this. This pretty much sets my cream contour to make sure that that cream do not move. Taking my NYX Jumbo Liner and I'm going to start applying that to my waterline. And then I'm going to go in with um, the black out of my palette and start smoking that bottom of my waterline out. Some dramas has the white. All right, so I don't know why I've been addicted to black lips lately, but I have been addicted. This black lippy came from Beauty Bakery, and this is in the shade Midnight Truffles. All right, so I still have some um, Gallica. I think that's the um, style of this glitter. That's the shade of this glitter. But this came from Stay Golden Cosmetics, y'all. If y'all have not checked them out, check them out, honey. They got some amazing glitters. I'm going in with Pimpy's Contour Palette. This Contour Palette is called Tropical Vacay. I'm going to go in with them two colors and just pretty much start warming my face back up, bronzing my face back up, and making sure everything is nice and even. Now, I've had this highlight palette by Beauty Bakery for a very long time, y'all. So, if you want to check out this palette, please do. I believe the name of this palette is called Milk and Honey. And, yeah, so I'm using that highlighter out of that palette. I actually mixed the silver and the gold, and I started applying it to my cheekbone and my nose. this is pretty much the finished look thank you so much for watching y'all y'all are super dope please if you have not subscribed yet and you like this video hit that subscription button and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i post more videos and yeah hit the thumbs up if you like it see you on the next video peace